Hey students, I'm super excited to do this kind of advanced level problem that involves exponents for you. Now, this example that you're, we're gonna do, it's not gonna come up in just this form in the GED, but what we're looking at here is a really important understanding that if you don't have, you will make errors in the things that do come up on the GED. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, rewrite, negative two to the third power in factored form. That's the first question. And then the second question, you might read it exactly the same way. Rewrite negative two to the third power in factored form. In fact, a lot of students would look at this, say it's the exact same thing, Kate. This one says, take negative two. Oh, let's get out our pen here. This one says, take negative two and raise it to the third power. This one says, take negative two and raise it to the third power. And so both of them mean the same thing. They both mean negative two times negative two times negative two. And I would say that you're wrong. Now, it happens that in this particular example, they would both simplify to the same thing. And so that's one of the things that throw students, like if you were to put this in your calculator, if you would put negative two to the third power in your GED calculator without the parentheses, it would tell you negative eight. And if you would put negative two to the third power in your GED calculator and you would have it simplify it, it would again say negative eight. And so then a lot of students would say, well, Kate, why are we bothering to do this? Well, as it turns out, that's not always the case. <laughs> in some cases with negatives and exponents, you won't get the same answer if you have the parentheses and if you don't. And the key here, the key here is not that simplified expression, that answer as you think of it. It's actually understanding the factored form, the factored form. And so that's what I wanna look at right now, looking at the factored form. Now. What is Kate even talking about when I talk about factors? Well, guys, remember the word factor means things multiplying. And so when I say to rewrite something in factored form, I'm asking you to write it as a multiplication expression as numbers multiplying. And we know that one way of thinking of exponents is as repeated multiplication. But guys, listen up. Here's what you don't understand about exponents. They're super duper weak. If you have this little expression here, negative two to the third power, what you're saying is that you want to negate, you want to take the opposite of two to the third power. Now, I, I did a big long pause there because what this says is take the opposite of this whole thing, of two to the third power. And so in order to do that, I would need two to the third power, two times two times two, and I would take the opposite of that. I've rewritten it in factored form. And you might say, well, why doesn't the negative get repeated over and over and over again? And it actually is about the order of operations, and that's a little weird. It's an explanation for another day. But if you look at negative two to the third power, negating a number, negating, making it negative, is actually a type of multiplication, okay? And of course, a power is an exponent. And when we look at the order of ops, the order of ops says we're supposed to do any groupings, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction if we were simplifying. And so we could see that here. We, were, we would be doing the exponent two to the third power before we do the negating, the subtracting, okay? So all that to say, the negative two to the third power without the parentheses in factored form is the opposite of two times two times two. It just has one minus sign in it. Now, how about with parentheses? You know, all of negative two, that's what I'm saying here when I put it in parentheses. I'm saying I want you to take all of negative two to the third power. We use parentheses to do a grouping. We put the negative inside the grouping so that I can negate first. So that means I'm going to take that whole number, that whole negative two, and multiply it by itself 
three times. This means the same as negative two times negative two times negative two. And I mean, I could use the time signs like I did before. That's not the issue here. The issue here is how many negatives I have. Now, again, some of you guys are saying, Kate, does it really, really matter? Because in the end, they're both going to simplify to the same thing. Negative 2 times 2 times 2 is negative 8. And negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. So why the heck should I care? And what I say to you is it doesn't always work that way. For example, if I had negative 2 to the fourth power versus negative two to the fourth power, those two would give you different answers. And so it's super important to know when the negative is being repeated, when it's included in the number using parentheses, and when the negative is not being repeated. When there's no parentheses, again, the exponent is just working on the numerical part there, that absolute value, that number itself, it does not affect the negative. We won't see a repetition of the negative and that will affect our answer half the time. See if you can figure out which half the time. If you think you know, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear those as well. All right, you guys, happy learning.